Hey lifers, how's it going? We've got All Hallows Eve right around the corner. We've even got an election coming up real fast. And uh, definitely be praying about you guys, um, especially as some of you are going to just be going to the polls for the first time in your life. And pretty much it's going to be a tough one um, for some of you, that is. It took me five minutes to get through my ballot, okay? Trump 2020, people. If you like balanced life, balanced living, and cred options and opportunities all the way around, you are going to want to think about things morally conservative. Okay. Now, um... Yeah, so, um, dealing with the demonic, huh? Yeah. Lifers, as we get closer and closer to the end of the month of October, it's a good idea to realize that we don't need to give the devil an inch, a mile, a day, a minute, an hour, or a second. What we need to do is put him in his place and tell him to get behind me. And in Jesus' name and in the authority and the power that Jesus has given us that he uh, knows where he needs to go because he doesn't belong anywhere near us or with us. He's not. He's, he's not for us. He's against us. So... Jude, the saint that I'm named after. One, six, English Standard Version. And the angels who did not stay with him, that is the Lord, God Almighty, their own position Of authority but left their proper dwelling he God has kept in eternal chains under gloom and darkness until the judgment of the great day so most of that stuff that people engage in on the 31st, all the, the Ouija boards, the, the funny rocks, the, the tossing of the cute stones and the gemstones and the, all that weird garbage, um, tarot readings, reading your horoscope, all of that freaky garbage, Not there's, there's really no place in God's kingdom for people who do that. So... Um, you can't be doing that and calling yourselves Christians. And yes, there is something quite real and legitimate about the bondage that the devil wants to put everyone in, basically. Um, yeah. Please be very cautious and uh, come up with alternatives this um, end of October. Have a harvest party. Do something interesting. Um depending upon what state you live in. And don't give in to the devil. Don't give him anything either. Because he's never going to give you anything, and he's never going to be able to. Fear about the upcoming election. People are, are still terrified because, of course, the other side, the side who's not Trump, has been making crazy thoughts, crazy promises, things that they know that are going to be literally next to impossible to deliver. And the only way to deliver them is to blow smoke and try to steal as many of our rights as we've always had. Not, 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 not particularly fond of that. Hoping that you're not either. So let's not adopt a spirit of fear. Let's adopt a totally different spirit um, where we get the, the phrase, fear not, for I am with you, says the Lord. That's in Isaiah 41. 
And I'm going to leave you with this about fear and about worries and concerns. Psalm 55, 22, English Standard Version. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. The Lord has always been there for pretty much all of us. Sometimes we really don't recognize him. Lifers, I want you to think about that a little bit more. Dive into it. Dive into the word. And have a lot more joy. You know, go do things that, that make you smile, that give you that extra push each day and each moment. Psalm 25. Um... You know, I you know, it's it's been sung quite a bit. To you, O oh God, I lift up my soul, lift my spirit to my Lord. To you, I lift up my soul. I'm gonna leave you all with that, and I'm gonna let you get going. It took me five minutes to vote, people. Come on. All right, talk soon. Bye now.